Kevin Foch with PPSOP.com, the best online school for photography ever. Um, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, my lighting on a uh, fast shoot I did called Duplicity. Um, we're going to go through the lighting, then you'll see a little behind the scenes and I'll talk a little more about what we did. Um, basically, the, uh, it was a shoot called Duplicity. Um, fashion suits are a little different because you kind of come up with a concept and then just kind of run with it. Um, this was basically the idea was to have a party girl. The girl went to parties and went out, partied all night, slept in her makeup and hair, got up, and then that's how we wanted to shoot her. So that's why the makeup looks a little like wonky and stuff. The makeup artist had to make her look like that, like she had slept in it and her hair was still quaffed but a little messy. Um, so now that being said, I've shot this model before. Um, know how, what she's like. She's a really, 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 really sweet girl. And on a shoot before where I needed her angry, I actually had to yell at her and act like I was mad at her that she didn't know what she was doing and stuff. I knew that I couldn't do this on this shoot because uh, she would react a completely different way. I didn't want that feeling. I just wanted her to be kind of confused, you know, kind of like a little on edge, a little confused, a little mad, but not really. So what I did, it was an evil, evil thing I did. I would go over to the other people on set, the makeup artist, stylist, and whisper to them like I was talking about her. You know, and I, I literally was whispering to them, act like I'm talking about her. Look, look over at her. Every once in a while, just look at her and make her think that I'm talking about her. And she finally started to kind of get really uncomfortable and like she was, could tell that we were talking about her. So then in the, about the second shot, she started getting it and started to get the look I want. And that's the thing, you have to be able to do anything to get the shot. So. At the end of the shoot, I went up to her, big, gave her a big bear hug, and I'm like, apologize that I had to do that to get it out of you. So we were all fine, everything's all good. But sometimes you have to do that stuff. So, that being said, now let's talk about the lighting, okay? I used this Octobank. Can Essie get it all in there? Ba, 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 ba. It's a big one. It's about a four, I think it's a four footer, five footer. Um, and I placed it almost directly over top of her, like just off a little bit at an angle. Um, I used this because I wanted uh, a soft light but with a hard edge. And then Octobank's a little better at that than a soft box. Beauty Dish would have been a little too much. The edge fall off would have been just way too fast. And I didn't want that. So I went with the Octobank. And you can see just kind of the edge of it in the shot, uh, the behind the scenes shoot. So plug that into the power pack. Take a look at the power pack. Plugged in. I was shooting at f8 and to take the meter reading came up, metered off her face, popped the flash with the radio poppers. Let me grab those. This plugs in to the power pack. This goes on to the top of your camera on the hot shoe and uh, that's what fired the flash remotely. So anyway, I took a meter reading off her face, got f8. Once again, you have your flash sync, so you don't have to worry about that. It was 1 25th of a second is what I shot at. Um, and then I shot with the, shot with a D3 um, at F8, which is kind of odd for me because I shoot at 2.8 all the time, except in the studio, sometimes I shoot F8, with a 5.14. The new F4.14G is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lens. Um, and you can see me. I'm moving back and forth for headshots, full length. Um, I used the 50 because I wanted a little more bend to them than a, just a telephoto would have. I think a telephoto would have been boring for this shoot. So anyway, that's how we lit it. That's how we shot it. And that was the mindset. So take a look at the video. I'll be back to you at the end. Okay, so there you go. You got to see how I shoot behind the scenes with a little music mixed in as he did that, made me look cool and everything because I'm really not that cool. Um, anyway, 50 millimeter, shot at F8, 
on D3, 125th of the second. Boom, 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 boom. Um, we already talked about how to meter for the face. Wirelessly, radio poppers, and then we use the octabank for the lighting. So, once again, you have to do whatever you need to do to get the shot. And the first shot that I did with her, I was like so-so on. I knew I had to do something to get her to see my vision. And sometimes you have to do weird things like that, just to, because if you explain it to people, sometimes they don't get it. So you have to do whatever you need to do to get them in your, in your little world. And my world's messed up. <laughs> it's totally messed up up in this head. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, for more on how I light and stuff like that, uh, take the, uh, go to ppsop.com and check out my new lighting class. It's gonna be a video class like this, so we're gonna be talking high energy and stuff and teaching you how to light people and subjects and such. So check it out, thanks.